Hello guys, it's Chris and I'm back. Well, I'll just explain briefly. Um, two weeks ago, like my computer just sort of fucked up and I lost everything on it, like all the really important files and I, I was working on a really big project and I lost that, but after like talking to some friends, I got all my stuff back and I'm now going to making more tutorials, so Sorry for keeping you guys waiting, but I'm going to start making tutorials again, and I've got so many planned, so um, let's just move on to this one then. This is just going to be a follow-up of the previous one, which I really should have done about like three weeks ago or two weeks ago, but I had bigger concerns then. But um, this is just going to be ha how to write text to a text file. Um, pretty simple. It's going it's gonna to be exactly the same as the previous tutorial, basically, but you know, a little different. So go ahead and create a new project. Call it "Write to a Text File." Okay. And we're going to be using the Stream Writer today. We used the Stream Reader in the previous tutorial. Okay, so let's let this load up. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need a text box to declare what we're going to save the file as. So we'll just add a text box up here, and we'll put a label next to it file name. and now we need the body of the text box sorry the text file so let's put body here and label add another text box make it multi-line and we're ready to start decoding on a whoops Let's add the save button and let's start the coding so okay the way we did this it's going to be exactly the same as the stream read the stream um, reader we're just going to say declare obj object writer as new system dot io dot stream writer and in brackets um, this is going to be the file name which we're going to declare in textbox one. So we're going to say textbox one dot text, and under that we're just going to type objwriter dot write, and in brackets textbox two dot text. So it's going to write textbox two dot text to the file textbox one dot text, and underneath that we're just going to objwriter dot close. Okay, so first of all, we declare obj, whatever you want to call it, writer, as a new system.io.streamwriter. And in, in the brackets here is we, where we declare our file name. So you could just put ctest.txt or whatever you want. But we want it to be more customizable, so we'll use textbox1.txt. And for the, for the second line, this is just saying, okay, now we're going to use the streamwriter and write textbox 2.txt which is going to be our body and then we just close it so let's go ahead and test this out well I'm not going to open up all my shit right now but if you just type C stream writer dot txt and we'll just say I'm using a stream writer vb owns save stop that and that's basically going to save the text inside this text box to the file declared here now we can also customize that well 
you can just add some security checks for it so it doesn't try and save a file when it already exists so we can say if system dot io dot file dot exists and in brackets text box one dot text then it's going to it's going to say sorry that file already exists and we'll add the else here and then end if so that's just going to first check if textbox one text exists already so we're not going to overwrite anything and then if it does exist it's going to give us this error message here and if it doesn't it's just going to say well it's just going to carry out this code so that was a pretty simple tutorial just basically repeating what we did last time and first of all before we end I'm just going to show you that the file does exist what is saved change this to open and here we're going to do process.start textbox1.txt now you don't need to do this, this is just me showing that if the file does save so I'll just open this we'll create a new C blah 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 dot txt spam 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 whatever and save and then open here we go and it's saved and I use process.start to open the text file so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions about this then just leave a comment if you have any suggestions or requests then just leave a comment also and please like this video since YouTube's got the new gay layout and subscribe to my channel.